Hey everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday, and this week I'm going to show you guys how to use the writing style feature on the app. I'm using the iPhone, iPad, Apple app, so I'm not sure if this differs from Android. I haven't had a chance to check it out, so if it's a little bit different, um, that's just a heads up for you guys. So what you're gonna do is grab a new project and go over to your text. And once it pulls up, you're going to see right next to where it says search fonts, you're gonna see a little like flashlight thing. Click on that and go down to has writing style. It is the last um, selection. So make sure there's a green check next to that and go back. And it's going to filter all of these fonts for you down. So I'm going to pick the Dear John font. I'm going to use fonts that you guys uh, have access to so it's easier for you to follow along. I am going to write, thank you, and pull that up. And if you go over to your layers tab, you're gonna pull it up and you're going to see the little scissors here because that is set to cut. So if you change it to right, you're going to see it's an outline here. And you don't want that, so you go over to edit and you have to edit the style as well. So you're going to do uh, st uh, edit style writing and that's going to change it to a single layer. Now I'm going to uh, do my alignment, center my text, and I'm just going to show you guys here. If we were to go over to images, and I'm going to just grab a gift tag really quickly to show you how we can do this. I want something that's a little bit different, and I'm just going to pick something that's in Cricut Access, again, so it's easy for you guys to follow along with. Everyone has access to Cricut Access, whether you pay for it or not, you do have access to everything, so it's easy for you guys to follow along. All right, so I'm just going to grab this one here. It is um, Doodle Charms M308C6, and uh, it does have a charge on it, but if you guys don't want to cut it, that's fine. Um, it's just to show you guys. So we're going to insert it here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to go over to my actions tab and ungroup this. Okay, now say I have my tag here and I want to write thank you, um, thank in one color and you in a different. So what I'm going to do is under the actions, I'm going to ungroup my text. I'm going to select you and attach and I'm going to select thank and attach. Actually, I'm going to separate um, these letters just a tiny bit so that they're not so close together. So I'm just gonna drag my finger around the ones I want and uh, move them a little bit. Now I'm going to select think and attach. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to my layers panel and you can click under your whichever set that you want. So I'm going to go under Thank first, and this gives me all of the options for the different color pens that there are. So you can just go through, and I'm just going to pick um, green. Uh, actually, let's see. You'll have to do it for each individual color, or for each individual letter. So I'm going to do that quickly. And then for the thing, or for you, I will go to, I'll just do red. Make it easy. I think I did very, very. All right. Now I'm going to select these and I'm going to bring them up here. Under my uh, edit tab, I'm going to change, um, put my layers down. All right, so I'm going to arrange and move this to the front and select think and send it to the front. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, it's a little hard to see on this, so I'm going to go ahead and change this purple um, just to a lighter color so it's easier to see. And I'm going to line up thank you, the you part, and I'm going to select both of these with the writing and I'm going to attach. Now I wanna show you if I detach it, when we go to make it, you're going to see 
you have one mat for the yellow, one mat for the green, and one mat for your writing. But if we go back to our canvas and we select both of these and attach it and hit make it, you're going to see how the writing stays right on our tag where we want it to. And right here uh, on the mat, it's gonna show you your pen and your scissors. It's going to write.